we would measure good nutrition by what we see as output from the child and would look at it in terms of stages. For a child who's between the age of zero months to six months, the best nutrition is breastfeeding. And so we will continue to encourage parents to breastfeed exclusively for the first six months. When we move from six months, the six months to 12 months, we start introduction of food, what we call complementary feeding. And at that point, good nutrition is a balanced diet. So there are certain food groups that you want to be included in the food. The child should get carbohydrates, should get proteins, should get dairy, should get small amounts of fat, should get uh, vitamins and minerals, and should get water. Yeah. And we discuss about you know, how do you introduce this food one at a time, how do you prepare the food, you know, issues like um, salt intake and sugar intake are discouraged because you're setting the child's uh, taste buds. So that would entail good nutrition at that age. But again, we'll still turn to our monitoring of weight and height and head circumference as well as milestones to tell us if this child is getting good nutrition. At that age, there are certain issues that are sometimes key. You want to look at iron deficiency. Iron deficiency is quite common at six months. And so we'll do a screen to check that the child's iron levels are, are fine. When we move on to 12 to 24 months, the children are sometimes picky with what they are eating and sometimes out of sheer frustration, the parents will just feed what is easy. But that may not necessarily entail good nutrition. So we discuss about the picky eater. How do you get this picky eater to eat what is right? Um, and we also want to look at sometimes issues of uh, overnutrition. So it's not always undernutrition. That is, good, that is poor nutrition. And overnutrition can also be an issue. So excessive intake of calories, um, excessive intake of um, um, carbohydrates or fats. So we'll address those, again, guided by what we are seeing from the growth charts. We want the parents to look out for features that suggest that maybe the child is not getting enough. And that would be maybe irritability, excessive crying, or um, if you notice the weight loss, you know, babies will lose weight from when they are born. They lose a bit of weight before they are discharged home, but within the first two weeks, they should have regained back their birth weight. So if you notice the weight is still going down, that's a cause for concern. Or excessive lethargy, that's a cause for concern. And maybe also excessive eating, so snacking all the time, then you'd want to seek some attention for such, for such issues. And so we have a two-week clinic where we'll see babies soon after they've been born to establish that breastfeeding is going well and other newborn issues such as maybe jaundice are not an issue for this particular child. So that would be maybe at that very early age. Later on, we use uh, the growth charts to guide us in terms of looking, uh, looking out for indicators of for cause for concern. So if the child is faltering out of their growth chart, then you, you are concerned.